morning from Forest Holidays at Sherwood Forest. It is Wednesday the 28th of March and it's a cloudy day but it's not raining. Overcast is the word, I couldn't think of it. Good job my wife's there, die. <laughs> well here's Bobby. Yeah. Now someone suggested we should give a name to this duck. So we're going to call her Doris. Doris the duck. So we've got Cyril the squirrel who's been here today but I can't see him at the moment and Doris the duck. So right this morning me and the girly whirlies are off on a look at the birds of prey and hopefully we'll hold some of these birds so to speak and uh, then we're off on a forester something or other. Some foresting thing anyway, I can't remember the name of it because my brain's gone. And then we're having tea this afternoon in the cafe. That's the three things that are happening today and I'm hoping to be able to vlog it all for you. This is on the nice big camera and I'm going to be taking with me my small camera. So hopefully uh, the sound will be good. I'm still a bit deaf so I can't hear a lot. So um, just hopefully it's going to be good vlogging. So I shall see you in a bit, we'll set off down towards the uh, retreat where we'll go and meet the rangers etc. Right here we are the girly whirlies, we're off now to go look at the birds of prey, we're just going up to the retreat now, just heading down this path, a follow the yellow brick road as they say, follow 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 the yellow brick road. So, we're going to see these birds of prey. Got a full morning today. And we're going for tea later. So, without further ado, let's make our way and I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> did it. No photos, mate. Pardon? No photos. No photos? No. Right, there we are then, just seeing the birds of prey. We weren't allowed to film them. Um, just because that's because of, scared uh, of that. scaring them. And uh, But yeah, we all had a go. Hi. And uh, it was really good. We had to take Daisy back uh, like, to the cabin part way through because she got really, really cold. Yeah. But we'll, she'll be back out for the first survival because she's going to put on three jackets. Yeah, it got a bit cold and it was a bit wet when we started off. Uh, but we've been a walk round with the falcons, not the falcons, falcons, birds of prey. It was a bay winged hawk, was it? Oh, uh, yeah. They're also known as a Harris hawk, but that's but not the real name. name. The common name is a Harris hawk, but, but they're actually the known name. as uh, a bay winged hawk. And look, we went to the shop as well, we got some. Uh, chili, chili heat with Doritos me. We've got some some vinegar Pringles for Daisy and then we've got a bag of, little bag of Skittles each and then we've got some rev, Revels Revels and um, some Tessimo Costa Some more coffee cappuccino. We're just going back now for some dinner and then we're back out for the uh, oh, Rangers thing So I'll be back in a minute So sorry I couldn't video the, the Hawks uh, but I understand why he doesn't want them on there, on there, because it frightens them. Although it weren't flashing. Uh, but the hawks he actually had are actually used in films. So I suppose for, uh, not copyright, but permission to film. Didn't he also that hawk thing used in Brian Branston? <laughs> Brian Blessed's uh, programme, the one we had. Uh, what's the name of it? The uh, hawk? Banshman. Banshee. Yeah. Banshee the hawk. He doesn't like uh, hawk. was last used in a film with Brian Blessed. Is he that one Not so that long ago. Boat on CV, About four miles away from here. Mom, so, yes. I mean, Dad. Dad. You know Brian? Blessed. Yeah. Is he that one with Rainbow Boat on CV, or something? 
Right. Brian Blessed lives, he was born in uh, Yorkshire, he was born in Bolton, Lancashire. Bolton upon Dern. And, uh, you were born in Bolton upon Dern? Yeah, Gulf Right. So I'll be back in a minute, just going to get something to eat. Right, here we are again with the girly whirlies, and we're just now heading down for the forest survival at two o'clock. And the sun's come out. Yes, the rain's gone. And uh sun come out. Here's the girly whirlies. I'm wearing leggings under these. But and I'm wearing three coats. Yep, she was a bit cold earlier. So now she's got warmer, she's got extra layers on. And uh so come and join us, see if I can film this one. So I'll be back in a bit. Dandelion, uh, root, you can dig that up, you can roast it, grind it down, put it on a cloth, boiling water, dandelion coffee. Not too much, but something really good. Have a little look what else we've got over here. Don't fall over the fire. Oliver, Oliver, stop asking me. Carry on. So leaves, very important leaves. Not only are going to be using as kindling later to light the fires with, but you know you've got your spiky leaves, which means you've got roast chestnuts, sweet chestnuts on the floor. Not to be confused with conkers. We've also got oak leaves. So what do we get from oak trees? Acorns. You can't eat acorns. So acorns, again you can ground them down. It looks like a bit of wood. You see it? Going out off the floor, look. This is raspberry. So raspberry will go up the side of the blackberry. But when you turn the leaves over, underneath, like silver. So you've got non-spiky leaves as well. So normally on your black uh, on your blackberries, your brambles, it's going to sting you. So you turn it over, and so watch out for that. Not many at the moment. Not many acorns at the moment, is it? Wood. It's not native, but if you rub it, your hands will smell of citronella. So it's really nice. So I'm going to rub it, rub the leaves, rub the leaves, get the oil. I'll rub it. And you have to rub it. Not really, look. Ta da! What it does though, it stops flies and insects all bothering you. So this is a choice here, which looks a little bit like a rhododendron. So if you rub it, rub it folks, you're alright. Just rub it like that. That's all your fingers, it'll smell lemony, like an oily lemon. Right, smell it. So if you've fallen over in the forest, just clean out your wounds, clean out the cut, smooth it over with a gel, till you get back, and then it's like a little it's, it's like basically like pine disinfectant. That's all it is. Okay. Have your foot fell off? Oh no. Are you okay? Come with your football. You know what this called? Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Better known as a silver birch. Right, silver birch will save your life out of the forest. Get three things for silver birch. You can peel the kindling off, see if you can peel any off. Look, peel the skin off the tree. Put some there, look. See how it peels off, look. That dry skin. But yeah, collect that into a little ball, and that's going to be your kindling to light your fire, your piece of paper. Second thing, the branches are very flexible. I like twine, so make sure you get some really decent ones, not the horrible ones which is like dead and over winter. So they're just literally entirely. Third thing, and the most important thing about silver birch is you get a sharp stone, an object, anything like that, dig it into the uh, actual trunk itself, fill the first layer, fill the second layer, suddenly get the sap will come out, so ignore that bit and wait for the water. Right. So this is the birch bracket I was telling you about. We're going twos or singles. So single wise, uh, also two birch bracket. Basically, you set up. Don't pull the tree. You have to stand around that side, mate. Um, what you do, if it's a double, take it off, and you can use it as a cooking pot or a collection bowl. As a single, you take it off, scoop out the soft bit, turn it round, and that will be your cup to catch the water. You can also use them as digging tools. You can put two together as a hand tool, keep your hands warm. But they are non-toxic, but the only thing you've got to watch is if they're fresh, a little bit inside need cleaning out really, really well. The ones grown on there, they're a little bit poisonous, they look like um, Cornish pasties, so don't touch those. Even the spores, the spores will irritate you, so if you touch them, all the dust will come up. Not great. These ones, mini birch brackets, a little tiny one, the horses, they're fine. But what it happens, it kills the tree, and along comes the woodpeckers. You've got millions of bugs, 
in a dead tree so the woodpeckers are doing holes. So all you need to do is sneak in there. You need lots of beans, all the same size, all the way down. Then you need to cover it with a bit of greenery. Pop that on top, okay? Meantime, you've got these little bits at the side. These will block off the back, the sides, so you can sneak in that side, all right? That's an easy one. This one, a little bit more complicated. As thin as the wind's blowing this way today, what we need to do, leave this open, and I can literally can walk in, and you need to put these big bits, exactly what you're doing on that, but slightly bigger scale, all the way down, cover the sides, and add more greenery. You may need to do it on this one, you may need to put inside, once you've got the big beams on, Right, you may need something like these pieces to thread through. So you're building like a lattice work to put on your greener. So it's slightly more difficult, needs a little bit more thought. So I'm going to give you 15 to 20 minutes. I'll give you enough time to dig a hole and sort out some kindling for fires, all right? So whichever one you want to start on that one or this one. Why is everybody in there? Wow. Well, I think there's a William size face. I'm going to have to wait until they come out because I can't go in. I see them from the town. Wow. Daisy, take that in and have a look. Oh yeah, it's having that bit of a stick. Okay. Alright now. Now. Jeez. Jeez. Really? Well, you see how easy that was. Really? Gosh! I need to get out! Ah! And the shop! No, 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 don't shut the door! Hello there! Hello, got in there? Yeah, right in there? No. Wow, what's up? Where, where, where's the plasma television? I'll start the fire off, then I'm going to ask you to come in and break your little ones and then put them on very, very surely. So, where did? I collected some bracken, some dry old plants. I think these were Rose Bay Willow here, but it's just perfect to start the fire off. So we start off with small stuff like bracken and leaves, then we move on to little tiny logs, then we'll move on to tiny sticks, and then bigger sticks, and that's how we'll build the fire up. So yeah, so you need to keep them in your hands, but don't chuck them all on at once, so very gently. We'll break them up and put them in. All right. So, so I'm going to start it off today with a flint and steel. Oh, that's easy. So flint and steel. Very easy to start off with. 
Okay. And I've got a treat today, I'm going to put a little bit of cotton wool in because I can't find any dry kindling up there. Peeled it off and it's still a bit damp, so I'm going to use a tiny little bit of my uh, my dry cotton wool. So, a little bit of cotton wool, I'm going to half pop that in there like that, make sure it's nice and dry. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, I'm going to only use half of it today though, because I'm going to be Johnny Generous. Right, so. Make sure it's stringy. Stringy is the thingy. Okay, stringy. What's fine? Stringy's the thing. <laughs> it's fine. Stringy's the thing. Right, put that in the middle like that. Then, I'm going to get some of these little branches ready. Okay, because we'll need some of these in a minute. But they are far too big for my fire at the moment. Alright, so, but one, two, three, four lots there. So, <laughs> once this starts, I'm going to pour a little bit more kindling on. And you'll see how quickly yeah, can you hold them? into the fire. Let's put them on the floor there. Straight away, look. So what we need to do well, is put quick. a little bit more kindling on. Okay. Wow. Then I will start to put on -wee, my little branches. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's really so with your little branches in a second. <laughs> so you want to start with the little branches first. Start to drop some on for me. No. Well, get some little ones. That's it, keep dropping them on for me, that's get it. Some small ones. So you've got some little branches. Snap them in half. Yeah. Okay. And then give it a second to start burning. That's it, so give it a second now. No more for now. Can I climb? Oh no. We're on the floor. So wait a minute. So let that keep burning. Good. Another one. I need some more. I can already feel the heat. Right, so we're getting there a little bit more here. Oh. I know I have a pokey stick mm -hmm. to bring that across, okay? There we go. I've already got one. You got one? No, you need one of these for the needles. Hi, right. hold that for me, don't lose it because we're going to use the needles. Hold that for me. I'll show you what to do when we get back with them, okay? So, no. No, we're not back yet. We'll be back in a minute, right? Hold that thing. Right. Okay, we well, need yeah, that. I'll get everybody one. Don't snap any more, look. I need to get some from down there. No, you need one, look. Don't snap any more, look. They taste like oxo, like beef. Yeah. You go. Oh, yeah. Get ready? Do they taste like oxo? Okay. No, they won't. They taste like oxo. Do they not taste like oxo? Like beef eggs. Like beefy. Yes, I can taste it now. Beefy gravy. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's not, yeah. what do you think it's called? Yucky plant! Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 That one's yeah. is out. Yeah. Try some, yeah. This is thick. I'll just be pretty dry. That's an ounce, that's yours. I can't even. What did you try? No, I can't. Oh no, try another one. No. Put it in one taste like no, 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 well, if you don't like it, then you can leave it. We've got to, if you understand. <laughs> but if you don't like it, no, then you don't want to smell like it back because you can swallow it, so that's smart. Yeah. I think. Everybody. What is I love them. Like? I'm a worm. Try one. I'm a worm. If you try one, I'll try one. I'll call that one George. You like know one? Well, that was interesting. Yeah, I've learned how to build a den and how to light a fire. And uh, loads of stuff about pine, making tea with pine needles and uh, eating bugs. So they all had a go. They didn't eat the bugs, they, they, they was going to try it but they chickened out. I've left them there now, they're in the playing. While well, I was going to pick Diane up while we come for our tea at the cafe. So I'll be back in a bit when we go for the tea. And it just looks to be starting to rain. But it stay dry, so back in a minute.
well that's it we just had our sandwiches and cakes in the retreat and blooming it there was a lot and they made extra cheese sandwiches for the kitty winks and uh wow I all, drank all the tea, but I just couldn't eat any more cakes. We, had, we gave some of the cakes away to the next table. It's far too many for us to eat. We didn't want to waste them. There's way, the girl. Way too much. So, and I couldn't eat any cakes because they'd been diabetic. We got killer post shots as well. And they got killer post shots. But they're all frozen. And they're frozen. So we're going to go back now and we're going to do the vlog. And uh, I'll be back <laughs> in a bit. So there we go, that's the end of our vlog for tonight. We just went out on a, just take Bob out uh, in the dark uh, with the girly wheelies and we just come back, get ready for the vlog, get this uploaded and I'm gonna have a drink. And I'll see you tomorrow. If you've got any comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. So bye for now, see you tomorrow, bye.